kids all over the place doing creative stuff. We have balloons, we got uh, board games. It's like a big show and tell. I bought this last week for $20 and I put on Linux and I'm showing it to people. It's a really fast laptop. I'm making a few different things just to demonstrate how, you know, the foods and herbs and spices that most of us have, you know, in our kitchens, you know, really support our health. And this is still a work in progress too. What I'd like to do is put a bell in here. This instrument in particular, which has been widely built all over the world, is based on, on vacuum tubes. It's supposed to be a steampunk Wild West preacher. You can see the, the wonderful diversity, you know, of things that people make here. It's so great that, you know, we have gotten so many people that are just, you know, come out to share, you know, what they do with other people and just and show them how to do it too. Probably about 30 to 35 hours in the making. And being a great procrastinator, that took a, a, about uh, 20 years. Most of it was a lot of parts from thrift stores or uh, old broken down bikes and the like. Um, a lot of spray paint and a lot of glue. <laughs> Makers, anybody who can craft something. If you craft something yourself, you're a maker. A maker is anybody who is like a tinkerer. We take materials and transform them into various things and my forte happens to be uh, to make theremins. A maker is somebody who makes stuff. <laughs> Whatever people are showing, it creates conversations and it creates ideas in people's mind. What probably first sparked my interest was as a little girl, probably like four or five years old, my dad taking me out into the forest and digging up sassafras roots you know, out of the ground and coming back and making tea out of them at, at the campfire. And I was just so fascinated with that. It was just like, it was like magic to me. Makers love possibilities. What's exciting is that all the possibilities become enlarged when people are working together. aspect of creativity. The things I make are not always perfect. They don't even always turn out exactly the way I intended them to, but I derive a lot of pleasure out of the action of doing it anyway. Do things, make things, understand how things are put together, and if you never try, you'll never know. Makers.